let's learn this interesting chapter hydrosphere now children this is planet earth planet earth is called as a water planet why because 71 percent of the planet earth is covered with water whereas the remaining 29 percent of it is land then that is why we also call it as hydrosphere now due to this vast expanse of water that exists on the earth that's our planet we call it as water planet then if you take this water planet we also call it as hydrosphere hydrosphere means it is made up of water now let's understand the water bodies that are seen on planet earth first of all it is the largest of all and that is ocean to let's understand what exactly is an ocean an ocean is a vast storage of saline water that spreads between continents to understand this let's see the world map now if i take a world map the continents are first of all north america then comes south america africa europe asia australia and the last one is antarctica now these are the continents the huge water bodies lies between these continents like if we take the first one pacific ocean which is seen on both the sides because the earth is round that's the reason next one is atlantic ocean that lies you can see it lies between the continents then arctic ocean and indian ocean now children if i take a comparative study of oceans overall then the total area that the ocean covers is 3552.31 lakh square kilometers out of that maximum area is taken over by pacific ocean it accounts to 1662.41 lakh square kilometers the second one is the atlantic ocean atlantic ocean is 865.57 lakh square kilometers then it is 743.27 lakh square kilometers the next one is the arctic ocean arctic ocean 94.85 lakh square kilometers and the last one 186.21 that comes to others now all this area that we see numbers is given in lakh square kilometers coming to the next water body which is comparatively smaller is sea sea again is a large store of saline water let's see the sea if i take a country like india here this region is sea now what exactly is a sea here you're seeing red sea the other one is arabian sea arabian sea is much closer to india now a sea is a large store of saline water that is partially or totally surrounded by land then we call it as a sea if i take most of the sea our extended portion of the ocean supposing i take arabian sea now arabian sea is an extension of indian ocean into the land then some seas are if you take up completely surrounded by land from almost all side one such example is caspian sea now we come to the next water body and that is bays what exactly is a bay again this is a small portion of the sea that extends into the land area 
will be called as a bay. For example, I take this continent that is North America and here this region is covered with water. This is a small portion of the sea. Actually, it is an extension of Atlantic Ocean. So, this is a bay. Name is Hudson Bay. Similarly, coming to India. In India, this region is Bay of Bengal. This is an extension of Indian Ocean. Coming to the next water body, that is Straits. What is a strait? First of all, it's a narrow portion of oceanic water that joins two larger water bodies. Now, if I take up this region, and in this region, what we see is, this is again a narrow portion of oceanic water that is joining two big water bodies. Here, it joins Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean. These are the two areas it joins. On one side, as you see, is Pacific Ocean. Other one is Indian Ocean. Now, in between, if you see here in this map, again, there are two land. There are two countries. One, Malaysia. Other one is Indonesia. So, both the sides of the strait are flanked by, we can say, land areas. Then comes in India, if you take. In India, in this part, we have a strait. The name of the strait is Park Strait. Again, strait is a narrow strip of water joining two land. The two countries here are, one is India, other one is Sri Lanka. And it is joining two large water bodies. Which are they? One is Bay of Bengal, other one is Arabian Sea. After the strait, we come to next one and that is a gulf. What exactly is a gulf? It's again oceanic water that extends into land area and generally has a tapering shape. Tapering is red, keeps on reducing. It's called as a gulf. For this, we come to India. If I take up India, it has one is gulf of Kambhat and other one is gulf of Kutch. These are two examples of the gulf that is found in India. Here you can see that the water body keeps on tapering, that is it reduces as it is moving inside the land. Okay children, with this we conclude here.